In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the OpenAI API for sentiment analysis, take that edit into Python to attach to a large data set. So we are in the playground now. This is the OpenAI playground. What you need to do here is you need to add some money to your account. This is a pay as you go and you pay for what models you use. So go down into billing and just add some balance to this. And then once you have some balance, open an API key, just create a new secret key here, and then you can bring that out to Python to use. The cost is fairly inexpensive and I use less money than I would if I had a ChatGPT subscription. So you choose your model in the playground. I'm choosing GPT 3.5 Turbo here because it's cheap and it's good enough for this use case. I'm giving the system a role saying it's an expert in marketing and sentiment analysis and I'm going to give you some reviews return positive, negative or neutral. The first thing I want to do is train the model a little bit. So I'm giving it an example of positive, negative or neutral and I am keying in the response as if I was the GPT and this is how you would train it for sentiment analysis. Now I can write a new response and I can get the response from the GPT just to check that this is all working correctly. I've got a positive response, it's come out positive. I've got a neutral review, it's come out neutral and I, this is a negative one and it's coming out negative. So with this in place, I've got a couple of training points here and I can send that into Python and just apply this to a data frame. So I have a large McDonald's review data set and I have that scored as well so I can test if this works correctly. I have the full code for this example out on GitHub. I have a link for that down below if you want to follow along, but I'm just going to tell you what this code does. So I'm pip installing the OpenAI. I'm using Google Colab here and just installing that. What I want to do now is pass my API key in and import pandas. So I've passed my API key in there and then I'm using the code you've seen from the playground. The only difference is I'm passing my API key into this and that's what you need to do to get this to work correctly. So I'm passing my API key in here and I'm importing OpenAI. I'm just going to press play on this now and then that will do that. And now I can run my example. So the only difference between this and the example you've seen in the playground is I'm making this into a function and I'm returning the response on the function because every time I run this, I want the response to be stored in my data frame. So I'm returning what comes out from the message and then I'm giving an example into the function. So I'm giving it a prompt every time and then that's gonna come out with my response. So you can see these are my training set here, my system message, my user and assistant for my couple of examples I've given it. And then the last kind of block down the end of the page is my um, content. So that's my prompt. So that's the prompt I'm sending in every time and I'm just going to call that example and that comes in the function. So to apply the function, I just need to get response and then include my example in here. So I'm just testing this. This is just a one prompt and I'm just testing this works before I move on and apply it to a larger data set. So Grant, this was a negative review and it's come out with a negative response. Now I'm going to import this large McDonald's data set and I am going to then take the review and then score each one. Taking in the data set into pandas here from GitHub and you can see that I have that data set in. So I've got an ID review and rating and now I'm going to just make a smaller data set from that data set of 20 reviews so we can see it applied and review the results. So having a look at this data set, about 20 reviews, and we've got a rating on each of them. Well, to apply this to the large data set, I'm just gonna use this below. I'm making a new column called GPT sentiment, and that's gonna be equal to review.apply get response, which just applies the function above. And now we can see the rating that a human has done, and we can see the GPT sentiment, and let's just look if there's any issues with this. So this one looks negative, and GPT is marked a negative, but the human is marked a positive. This one is neutral because there is a good and bad response. We've marked it neutral, but the human is marked a positive. And finally, this is a negative review, but the human is marked a positive. So it looks like the GPT has done better than the human on this sentiment analysis exercise. Code for this is sitting out of my GitHub if you want to try it yourself and follow for more.